I'm Jackie Taggart, your MLA for Fraser Nicola. I'd like to wish all my constituents a happy holiday season and a prosperous new year. 2019 has been a busy year and I'm excited to share with you what I've been up to. One of the most outstanding issues of 2019 has been the serious decline of the forest industry and the failure of government to properly address it. Throughout this year, I've fought for forest workers and their families by visiting affected communities, hosting forestry roundtables, meeting with members of government, and rising in the House to address government directly and demand answers and action. I was also happy to support the logging truck convoy to Vancouver during UBCM and to meet with organizers. I'll continue to fight for workers, families, and the forestry industry. Recently, the BC Liberal Steelhead Caucus was re-established to address the pressing issue of the state of BC's steelhead. With MLA Ralph Sultan and myself as co-chairs, this year our caucus toured hatcheries, rivers, and spawning sites to witness firsthand some of the struggles endured by steelhead. We also met with biologists, provincial and federal government representatives, and First Nations. I rose in front of the House on multiple occasions to address this issue and will continue to do so until action is taken. Another main project that we've been involved with in this year is the revitalization of the beautiful Fraser Canyon. I've been working with local stakeholders, with First Nations, community organizations and different levels of government to devise and enact a plan to make the Fraser Canyon a tourism hub once again. This would create jobs and economic growth for the area through higher tourism numbers. Unfortunately, this project has been delayed due to the NDP's suspension of the Rural Dividend Grant, a much needed resource for funding rural economic projects. This year included a major upgrade for the Nicola Valley Hospital in Merritt in the form of the completed $6.5 million emergency room expansion, which opened in June of this year. The project commenced in 2016 and was achieved by a mix of government funding and fundraising by community organizations, such as the Nicola Valley Healthcare Endowment Foundation and the Nicola Valley Healthcare Auxiliary. This expanded emergency room will provide an essential service more effectively to both the residents of the Nicola Valley and to those who are traveling through this community. This summer, I hosted a multiple number of socials, community events, and roundtables during my constituency tour with the BC Liberal leader, Andrew Wilkinson, and with some of my colleagues who came to visit the riding. We spoke with constituents about issues such as forestry, flooding, ICBC, small businesses and support for them, seniors housing and 19 new taxes put in place by the NDP government. It was fantastic to get the community input and feedback on how best to represent your views and priorities to the government. I was pleased to attend many fantastic community events in 2019. Graduations, meet and greets, summer socials, tourism summits and events, the Interior Lumber Manufacturers Summit, and fundraisers are some of my most favorite parts of my job. Also attended cultural events honoring First Nations and Japanese Canadians, and the launch of the Honor Ranch near Ashcroft which supports first responders affected by PTSD. 2019 was a great year for intergovernmental relations as I worked and met with many town councils, regional districts, First Nations and members of Parliament. I look forward to working closely with all different levels of government to support local initiatives in 2020. I want to thank you for watching my 2019 end of the year update. I'm grateful for this year of representing the amazing people of Fraser Nicola. We are looking forward with hope and determination to 2020. Happy holidays to everyone.